Hello and welcome to another video. Um, yeah, it's already in the evening of this day and I know it looks a little bit like I cry because my makeup is a bit ruined in the corner of my eyes but that's just because my eyes are always tearing up with uh, when I'm a bit ill. So yeah, I'm just going to do a quick workout and then I have to work on my computer a bit and I will talk at the same time to you so yeah just a just a slight change in the plan I do I'll, I'll go shower first you know oh well, well this just looks like I had a great time here <laughs> good morning I, I mean uh, hey welcome back what it's not another day and I just like didn't film yesterday because I had something else to do and that wasn't really all that exciting. Um, well, hello! <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, I now cleaned uh, the staples of my rabbits and I know I look really sexy with this hat. Um, and yeah, now I'll do a little break because I'm a bit exhausted because I'm still ill. And then such a work is a bit yeah, straining. <laughs> also, I, I baked this cake. Doesn't really look that great right now, but this this pie and wow, wow. Let's talk about intelligence. <laughs> Maybe not the best theme for a video, especially on an intellectual platform like YouTube. But um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you ever heard, if you've ever heard something like this or if uh, someone ever told you this, but sometimes teachers say stuff like "you're too young for that" or "you're too old for something." You should already knew that, or you should already have known that. And um, I don't know why they bring age into this whole matter because. I don't think that you really can be too young to learn something and you also can't they can not be too old to learn something. It's always learning should always be a process that's seen as good. And if someone is interested in something, you shouldn't cut them off with saying that their age doesn't fit a certain topic. That's just dumb because whoever said, "Oh, this can only be a uh, be taught when they are three and that can only be taught when they are 80 what's that kind of like what's that's not a real system that's just made up stuff that they think uh, that's which is better and something so I see so many children and also so many um, yeah smart human beings in my age that just because some teacher once told them you are too old or too young for something, to learn something, they just stopped and didn't have any interest in school in general or in that theme anymore. And I think that's just really sad. Someone becomes a teacher because they want to uh, help others learn stuff or they like um, yeah, to teach people stuff. So. Or they maybe they are just interested in uh, a certain topic and want to convey this interest to another person uh, and try to explain it. And I don't really get why teachers then do stuff like that and just yeah, just make students feel so bad for how they are learning or how fast they are learning. The only thing that should be important for them should be that the children or the young adults are interested and want to learn or they're trying to learn. I think that's the thing that should really like be important to teachers and not what grades you get or like how fast or slow you are in certain things. Enough about that. It's enough for school and shit. Yeah. So. Shit. <laughs> fuck. Shit, fuck. What is my hair? Okay. So. What happened? <laughs> Notice, I mean, like. Mm, 
there are some things that happened in the last weeks, days, whatever. So I had my oral exam. <laughs> I also vlogged the whole time before the oral exam. I was so nervous. Maybe I'll just like cut some clips in here. Okay, I have my oral exam tomorrow. It's the last exam of my whole A-level shit. And I'm so stressed right now, I could cry. I did cry, like 10 minutes ago. This is shit. Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do this to myself? Can I just be ready? I don't want to go to that school anymore. Luckily, I can just leave my all my books that I still have here. I can just leave them there tomorrow. And I'm just so happy about that. <laughs> Good morning. Everything hurts. I'm just kind of ill. Where everything just feels very dry. Hello. Look at my makeup face. Beautiful. Um, so, um, it's just a few minutes before I need to go, before um, my mom will come here and pick me up to drive me to school. Careful, our exam. My eye, fuck, man, no! My perfect makeup. <laughs> And I'll probably uh, be in the waiting room with one of the most chillest person of the um, of my whole year. So um, <laughs> I hope this is just going to make me a bit more relaxed and a bit more chill. Be more chill. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. I got something like like an A minus, one minus as a grade, and I am. Um, I, I was a bit surprised because I was better than uh, the one girl that was always better than me um, that was because she was very very just like she was very nervous and that's why she didn't really understand the questions they asked and yeah so yeah I was also very nervous but I think it was okay and yeah I feel a bit dumb because always when you say something like oh my god that was so bad or I don't know I'm just so scared and then you get a good grade everybody else thinks that you just wanted attention you just wanted that the others say wow but you, you're so smart I don't want them to say this it's something like if I say I'm ugly I don't want you to say no you're not I just want you to I don't know just I don't even know why I'm saying that okay <laughs> If you're saying no, you're not. You're only like you're only. I don't know. Can you say that in English? Throw salt into the wound. You're only like making it worse for me because then the other the the part of my brain that said that or that uh, felt like that will only say mm, they're wrong and you know it. <laughs> and that's just uh, yeah. That's not good. <laughs> so that's. It's really hard if you are that kind of person. Oh, now I'm just complaining. No, I cut that off here. That's that's just I don't know. It's yeah. That's just the way it is. <laughs> I have to start editing now, so I'll just you know just. Yeah. Well, that looks really dumb. <laughs> Wait. Oh my. Okay. Doesn't look any better. Whatever. I could just do it like this. Okay. So. One thing I wanted to talk about is growing out my hair. As you can see, my hair got pretty long uh, again. The reason why I let it grow out now was not uh, like before, like laziness, like um, being fearful of uh, going to a hairdresser 
or a hairstylist and then just being like can you maybe just like cut the it's just like an interest i don't know i don't know what i want to do with my hair okay yeah um <laughs> now i actually want to donate my hair if it's really grown out after that i don't want to have long hair anymore some people say that long hair suits me better i don't think so i think it just looks really dumb and i uh, can't really wear it because i really have this flare around me like this really girlish flare i don't think so or at least i don't hope so because i don't want that <laughs> So I'm done with editing the video, it's uploading right now to my YouTube channel. <sighs> I'm a bit tired, <laughs> I don't know why, but yeah. One thing, I want to know if that's normal. I always lock the door when I'm alone at home, when I sit in my room, because um, when I sit there, I am just, <laughs> yeah, I'm watching YouTube right now. Um, I sit with my back to the door. Isn't it normal that I'm a bit like paranoid that if I wear headphones and I can't hear shit that something will come up behind me and I won't notice? So yeah, when I'm alone I lock the door. 